So the theater is uh, over that way. Yeah, over that way. Um, I think we're gonna have to go around there and through that tunnel that the cars are coming out of. Now I've just noticed as well that I'm running really low on ammo. Uh, pretty much for everything. I was thinking of maybe going back to Nukatown and buying some more, but I think we're going to live dangerously and try and make do with what we have. So before we head off, I'm going to take some uh, Radix, run away, let's get back to full health. Alright, let's boogie. Can we move out before I start puking? Moving out, come on. Ah. Right. Yeah, through there, I think. Up to the castle, maybe? Is that where the theatre is? Detected. Oh. Eyes up. Something's out there. Yeah, I know. Take we're in for a fight. Groovy. Uh, and there's another one over here. Excellent. That was rather fuss free. Alright, let's loot these guys. And look both ways, Gage, before you cross. Road safety. It's very important. Right, now I don't know how easy it's going to be to avoid the cars in this tunnel. Yeah, I guess if they come along one by one, we can just sidestep. I did try and jump there, but it's far too late. Oh, shut up. Sounded like Gage got hit as well. Uh, we have ghouls above us. Yeah, where does this go? Employee tunnel. Okay, we could have come out that way earlier. Gage. Fine. And who? Oh. Uh huh. Ah, oh dear. Uh, right. What do we have? Right away, yes, thank you. I've been trying not to sneak too much, but because I'm conserving ammo. Oh, shit. Nah. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, look at my rads. Holy shit. Uh, right, let's sort that out. Did the radex wear off? Right. Something about this worries me. What's on the other side? And oh, holy shit, oh, dude! That arm don't look good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, God. Uh, right. So missile launchers. That was a a warm welcome. Got one there. Hey, level up. Should we just wait here for them? I can hear footsteps. Hello? Anyone? Anybody? No, they're not coming, are they? Alright. Uh, 
Uh, we got more. Yeah. Oh, legendary. Oh, I blew his legs off. That grenade was completely unnecessary, yet fun. And oh! I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh. Don't use the spray and pray when something's charging at you. Is the lesson we just learned. All right, come on. Well, actually, I'm going to keep it equipped for now. Back. Back. All right, I can already see one. Where'd he go? All right, well. You're going to regret Deal with that one. Right, where are the others? There was one... There's one over there, so he moved now. Right. Get you. Get you. Where's the other guy? Oh, they're up there. Are they? I don't see them. <laughs> Is he still alive? It's clipping into the stairs just a little bit. Sorry, Gage. Right, is that it? Alright, let's sort my health out because holy balls. Berserker switchblade, and oh, well, that's Binders, shit. Them, all right. They haven't even got anything good. Oh, man, sprayers. Bad move. Hell of a good time. Should probably try and use my other weapons, actually, to conserve ammo. God, I hate ghouls. You never know when one is gonna pop out at you. Yeah, I know. Or do weird shit like that. Anyone up here? Oh, no sprayers. King Cola's castle. So this would be the theater. Alrighty. some more right away. Alright, before we go in, I'm kind of, let's have a quick look over here. I don't want to get too sidetracked, but I'm a little bit curious. Uh, where does this go? King Cola's Castle Tower. Okay. Um, is this where Oswald was living, maybe? Got an armor bench. Chem station. Rachel's terminal, okay. Let's have a look. Uh, Got it. Okay. User logs. I got the part. 
I got the princess cherry part. Technically, Dad thinks I got an internship working with the beverageers. At least I got a job working at Nuka World, which means I can wait and get to know some of them before applying. I mean, I love acting, but I still want to put that rather expensive organic chemistry degree to good use. My boyfriend Oswald and the rest of the gang passed out here in the tower after they threw me a party. All of us got drunk and came up with this ridiculous plan to take over the park if the war ever got bad. Like, nuclear bad. We all agreed, but instead of shaking on it, we all we did a round of shots. Here's to 2077. I hope it's a hell of a year. Oh, it was. Moving on up. We've got our defences set up now, and things are starting to look a little bit better. Thanks to my background, I've sort of become the unofficial doctor of our raggedy little bunch. Oswald has been so supportive, and he's continued to manage this whole crisis like a real leader. I'm so proud of him. Whatever that horrible radiation storm did to us, everyone is having bad reactions, but there are others literally dying from it. I wish I could do more to help everyone, but I'm an organic chemist, not a surgeon. I don't have the heart to tell people that as they're dying in my arms, so I just keep it to myself and try to give them hope. The Affliction My good friend Fran succumbed to the affliction a few days ago, and I've just been a wreck. Dean and Oswald boarded, up, boarded her up in a house before she tried to attack anyone, which I don't think I could have taken. Oswald stayed the night up here and just held me while I cried. I tried to apologise to him for falling apart like this when he needed me to be strong, but I knew her since elementary school and I couldn't hold it in any longer. I hate this place. Magic is real? There was a huge attack this week that pushed us all the way back to the castle gate. Just when we were about to fall back to the theatre, a bunch of the afflicted started crawling out of their houses and started helping us out. But as our attackers were retreating, my body froze when I saw a stray bullet hit Dean and it looked like he was dead. But Oswald did... something. This glow came out of his body, flowing like a wave. Suddenly, Dean started breathing again. After the attack ended, we all looked at Oswald who started muttering something about using real magic. Most of us didn't know what to think. Me? I don't care what the hell you call it. Maybe we can use it to cure the affliction. Either way, I gave him a huge kiss for saving Dean's life. Leaving to find a cure. We tried everything we can think of, exhausted every option. Not even Oswald's powers can seem to stop the affliction. There are only a handful of us left and we're running out of time. I don't know what will get us first. The raiders who moved into Nukatown, or the Affliction. So that's it. I've talked it over with Oswald, and he's going to stay in Kitty Kingdom to keep everyone safe while I go to find a cure. I felt awful leaving everyone behind, especially Oswald, but I really have no other options. I'm going to head over to the town of Bradburton near the park and start there. This is a huge gamble, but it better pay off. Okay. Uh wonder how long ago that was. Alright, we can go out this way as well. Do I want to do that? Maybe we should go back the way we came and deal with Oswald first. Hmm. Still low. Curious. Yeah, let's have a look out here, actually. Uh, okay. What do we have up here? Do I need to take some more radix? Yes. <laughs> I should have this stuff hotkeyed. Right. Uh, where are we actually? Ah, okay, cool. So we came up there before and the theatre is through there. I see, I see. Um, can we, can we get in this way? King Cola's Court. Hmm. Let's have a look around here first. Yeah. Ugh, fucking oh, rad roaches. Yes, they thought they had a chance. Is that it? Finders keepers, am I right? 
Yeah, right. Shotgun shells, cool. Let's shoot that before it has time to do us any mischief. Uh, cool. Mm, take that cigar as well. Alright, cool. Well, might as well go in this way then. After I take some more freaking rad away. Alright. On your toes, Gage. I have a feeling it's going to be annoying in here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the show is about to begin. Oh, great. And what's this? Oh, it's just no the toilets. To to <laughs> to to oh, shut up. <laughs> and oh, there's money and shit down there. Yeah. Day tripper. Gage, excuse, dude. Just no, over there. Here. What's up, boss? You're in the way. That's what's up. The hell happened in here? A war, mate. Didn't you hear? Uh, where are we going? In here, I presume. Mm. All right, we'll we'll do the looting later. Let's deal with this guy now. I'm saying that for my benefit rather than yours. Are these guys alive? No. Oh god, I haven't got much ammo left for this. Holy crap. Yeah, this is fine. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. <laughs> and now oh. the show you've all been waiting for. Really haven't. Oswald the outrageous. I'll admit. I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. Isn't that what you've been doing? When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> no matter when, what oh, you great. Do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. He's running off. Where's he going? Oi! Back here, you. Oi! Where's he gone? Oh, holy shit! A crazy sword. Ow! Balls! <laughs> oh, come on. I always need to reload at the worst possible moment. Alright, I don't think I killed him. Sorry, but I'm not going out that easily. Yeah, I thought. The show must go on. Ugh. <sighs> right. Well, it seems your asinine assault won't be dissuaded. Then I guess it's time for our final act. Join me on the roof of King Cola's castle, and we'll see an end to this production. Bloody drama queen. Alright, let's 
search these guys and then we'll go and deal with this joker. Alright, well, unfortunately none of those guys had any bloody ammo on them. I'm completely out of ammo for this. I've got nine rounds left for this. And I'm out of ammo for that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, is it is it too late to resolve this peacefully? Can I just have a little heart to heart with him? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna put my just in case we are able to talk to him. I'm gonna put my charisma glasses back on, and then I wonder if I've got any great mentats just in case we've got any speech checks. That could avoid this. Great mentats, cool. Maybe I should take those. Hmm. Alright. Let's go. This could end horribly, but you never know. Maybe we can just have a nice little chat and a cup of tea and it'll all be fine. Right? Yeah. Going up. Uh. All right, let's take these mentats. Oh, I think that's him materializing. There we go. You raiders are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home. Not yours. <sighs> this is kind of... I mean, I've just massacred all of his friends, so I pretty much am his enemy. But, uh, let's try the op this option, just I'm in case. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met? that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? I'm not sure I'd call it needlessly. They're usually trying to kill me at the time. Uh... Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them. Forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick, and yet you try to kill them anyway? That's not what I, I said. Say that makes you the only monster around here. Mmm, 200 years, why? Well, presumably he's waiting for what's the name to come back with the non-existent cure. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. Uh oh, red speech tracks. Um, yeah. I promise you, there is no cure. You'd be better off trying to find her, so you can be together. You're wrong. Hurrah. There is a cure. There has to be. But maybe she needs my help. If Rachel is still out there. I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave Gage this just place like that. Oh, shut up, Gage. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Excellent. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging Oh yeah, I've got you. a perk to use as well. Sword of Wonders. Ignores 30% of target's damage and energy resistance. Cool. 
Increases wearer's movement speed. Groovy. Farewell. All right. Yeah, it's easy for you to complain. Were you going to kill him if we had to fight? I'm out of ammo. So it would have all been on you. All right. So let's make with the looting. Can we limit the rad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all right, we've got another terminal over here. Oswald's password. Do we have Oswald's password? Did he give it to us? Sweet. Uh, systems access. Turn on, Miss Sprayers. No, thank you. User logs. Things are finally stable. I almost read that as financially. Things are financially stable. We've uh, paid off the mortgage. It's been about 50 years since the bombs fell. We've seen some large groups come and go. Usually we've managed to scare them off or use the radiation sprayers to get rid of them. Seems like most of the attackers are just terrified of the clown makeup. Well, who isn't scared of clowns, man? They're well creepy. Ghoul clowns? Holy shit. Uh, it's kind of sad. They used to bring people so much laughter. Hmm, really? On the whole, things are good. We have plenty of food, water, and even partial power when we need it, which I'd imagine is a lot more than most others have. Even the mutation from the radiation storms hasn't been that bad after we learned to cope with it. I'm glad Rachel is still alive. I think she's the only thing keeping me together. Can't sleep. I can't sleep. We've had to board up another person today. That's over 10 in the past year alone. I'm trying to keep everyone organized and keep everyone's spirits up since Kenneth, Mitchell and Herman are gone, but there are some days I just don't want to even get out of bed. Some have even started talking about putting the afflicted out of their misery, but we put a stop to that talk pretty fast. We've been here a long, long time now, and these aren't just the people I survived the war with, they're our new family. We've got to find some way to help them. Was that real magic? There was a big attack today and Dean got hit by a stray bullet. The thought of losing another of us caused me to snap and suddenly it was as though energy was literally flowing from my body. Then Dean just shot up and gasped for air. I healed him, but I have no idea how. After the attack, it hit me. Was this some sort of mutation or was it real magic? I mean, given the circumstances, who could tell the difference? Even if we had a scientific explanation, does that really make it less magical? Regardless of what I want to call it, maybe I can use my powers to help the afflicted. New Neighbours Some big gang took out that group in Nukatown this week. The gang looks pretty aggressive, so we've decided to leave them be for now. It's too bad, we had almost decided to make contact with the traders there, but now it looks like we've missed our chance. Rachel is talking about one or both of us breaking from the group to try and find a cure somewhere else. But if the two of us leave, I don't know if there will be enough leadership to keep this place together. After Rachel left. It's been over a year since Rachel left, and still no word. At home, there's nobody left. No one but me and the afflicted, and that gang of raiders next door. At first, I was wishing Rach that Rachel had stayed behind but I kept coming to the conclusion that she did the right thing. No matter how much it hurt, she had to leave for the good of us all. Only problem is that I don't know how much longer I can hold the castle. The walls are crumbling. The walls are crumbling and I don't know how much longer I can hold them up. I miss you, Rachel. Mm. Poor guy. Yeah, I do feel bad for him, even though he was annoying as hell. Alright, Gage, help me loot some shit. Oh, we need to assign a gang. Should we do that first, and then we'll loot some shit? Kitty Kingdom roof key. Do I have that? Yes. Who should we give Kitty Kingdom to? Hmm... Well, we've already given the operators somewhere, so I think it's somebody else's turn. 
I'm thinking maybe, maybe the disciples, just because that would amuse me. But I don't know. I think the pack would be quite fun here. Should we get? Yeah, I'm going to give it to the pack. And the disciples are going to be even more pissed off. Next one's their turn. Secure Kitty Kingdom. Sign a gang to Kitty Kingdom. Cool. Well, tasks completed. The Magical Kingdom. Alright, dude. Looting time. Oh, hey, another Nuka recipe. Nuka Berry. Perfect. Mmm. Tasty. And um, what's with all the buff out? Cram. Now I'm curious. Um, cram is, as far as I'm aware, a, a, a take on like a parody of spam. Right? Do you get... Is spam a thing in America, or do you guys only know about it through Monty Python? I'm curious to know. Uh, and if so, who actually likes spam? I haven't had it in years. I didn't actually mind it, though. It's been a long time since I've had it. But, you know, it wasn't that bad. And I'm usually a, kind of a fussy eater when it comes to meat products. Yeah, it's funny, I haven't... Before I started playing Nuka World, I hadn't played on this save for ages. There's loads of stuff I haven't done. I haven't done any of the other DLC on this either. And I did finish the main quest on this character. But then I went back to an earlier save to have a look at other endings. So if you're curious, this was my very first character and I originally did the railroad ending on my first time. Then I rolled back to an earlier save. Ah, there it is. I rolled back to an earlier save. Oh, oh I'm not wearing the glasses, that's why. So you can still see them, kind of, but you can't see the letter. Uh. There we go. Record clue. Aha, got another one. Hooray. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, can't have been that important. Yeah, sure I went... You wanna yes, that? shush. Um, yeah, that was it. So I went back to an earlier save and then did the Institute ending. Um, but when I started this, I went back to an earlier save again. Because I didn't want to be too high level to do this. I think I was like level 45 when I started this. Um, so, yeah... As we are now, I have not finished the main quest. And, whoa. Okay, we can still get run over, so watch yourself, Gage. Where is he? He's coming. Alright, well, I think we're going to have a little wander about to make sure we haven't missed anything exciting. And then we're going to head back to Nuketown. And buy some bloody ammo, because holy shit.